Hey there viewers, welcome back to the Bestie channel. Don't cry baby. Oh come on, where's your thick skin? Get over it. You're oversensitive. Have you been hearing these things frequently? They may appear innocent but can be really damaging. Being shamed for showing your emotions can lead you to suppress them. In today's video, we'll be discussing signs you're developing emotional numbness. Do you feel like you're constantly on autopilot? Are you a silent observer? Do you feel as if you're empty inside? We'll be talking all this and more. Number one, you feel like life is a dream. No, I'm not talking about the dream where you're reaching goal after goal. If you're from a culture that stresses hiding emotions, it's likely you struggle from some form of emotional numbness. Several people also develop numbness after going through an extremely traumatic life event. When emotions get way too overwhelming for a person to handle, they develop negative coping strategies and one of them is emotional numbness. It's your mind applying a defense strategy to save you from trauma. Your brain makes you go emotionally numb so that you don't experience overwhelmingly intense emotions like grief, fear, or hatred. You become disconnected from your feelings to the point where you start mistaking your life for a strange dream. In other words, you go about living in a false reality. Does your cultural background keep you from expressing emotion? What are your thoughts on being able to express your feelings? Sound off in the comments below and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number two, you live on autopilot. Emotional numbness is just like being empty. You feel nothing from the inside. You'll be living life as if you switched your plane to autopilot. Going about your work, daily chores, and personal needs will be nothing to you. You'll be doing everything like a robot with zero extra thought applied whatsoever. You may ask, what's wrong with living life on autopilot? Isn't it good to not stress over daily tasks? No stress, no grief, no frustration? What's the big deal? Living without emotions is a terrible way to live. It hurts your health and the people around you. If there's the slightest inkling you might be getting emotionally numb, get help from a licensed therapist or a mental health practitioner. Emotional numbness isn't some character fall that you can ignore. It's a serious problem needing immediate attention. Emotional numbness will cause several serious physical, mental, and emotional issues. You'll develop dysfunctional behaviors like obsessive compulsions, as well as fatigue, confusion, and irritability. Many people develop chronic illness, addictions, and depression. You may also break contact off from the world. This means not talking to friends and loved ones. Number three, you're a passive observer. Taking in your surroundings is a much different experience if you're emotionally numb. You struggle with emotions. You'll not feel things that people around you are feeling. Your sibling would be super happy about getting all A grades, while you might wonder what all the fuss is about. You got straight A's, but you don't feel the need to be happy. Due to this, you'll be more of a passive observer. This is something called depersonalization. Things don't feel real. You're detached from your inner emotions. You are disconnected, as if you're an outside observer on your own life. People with emotional numbness also feel like they've lost control over their thoughts and actions. If this surreal feeling continues, you're struggling with emotional numbness. Number four, you don't like it when others express emotions. There are several reasons why one develops emotional numbness. Maybe it stems from family trauma. If you were abused emotionally or physically, you probably find it difficult to gather your emotions. Children who were alienated from their family at large can develop emotional numbness. They're too young to experience an overwhelming sense of grief and exposure to it makes them numb. In fact, it can be parents and teachers who make a child think showing emotion is a sign of weakness. These children grow into adults who hate visible displays of emotion. For the same reason, anyone expressing emotion in the presence of a numb person can make them uncomfortable. If you don't think you have this trait, take note of how you feel the next time your friends are visibly happy or sad. Do you dislike it? If yes, look for other signs. You may have a problem. Before we move ahead, here's a video you might like. Looking to boost your memory? Watch and learn more about the nine best foods that boost your brain function and memory. Number five, you can't express strong emotion. Emotional numbness is like a secret illness. It's almost socially acceptable not to express strong emotions in front of people. In fact, several cultures and social circles encourage this behavior. This is especially true if the emotion is negative. Being level-headed is appreciated, while someone who cries easily or shows happiness instantly is considered too sensitive. 
do you know how this affects us? It encourages us not to be emotional. This is what leads numb people to keep away from showing their feelings. Do you find it difficult or impossible to express strong emotions? If yes, you need to delve deeper into what's preventing this from happening. Have you considered underlying problems like bipolar disorder, depression, or PTSD? Number six, inability to form close bonds. This one is relatively easy to spot. Ask yourself this question. Do you have close bonds with any of your friends or family members? Can you easily form them with people you like? Is the answer no? Well, then the chances are you're experiencing emotional numbness. You see, to form close bonds, you have to express how much you appreciate the other person, how much you care for their well-being. You need to be happy for them when something good happens and console them when they're sad. This one's even more important. Share your feelings. It's through shared feelings that we form the closest bonds. Emotionally numb people cannot do any of this because they don't feel things like normal folks. This is why they find it difficult to have romantic partners and close friends. They also have trouble staying in touch with family members. The inability to form close bonds can also be a sign of a personality disorder. These people are often cold, distant, and overly suspicious of people and their surroundings. People with skewed perceptions or communication skills also find it difficult to form close relationships. But there's one thing that separates all of them from people who are emotionally numb. Sometimes they even sabotage their relationships in order to avoid being hurt in the future. They're cold and distant because they don't know any other way to act. Number seven, you only have physical sensations. It can be difficult to explain to an emotionally numb person what emotions feel like, and the reverse is true as well. Emotional numbness is a difficult thing to explain. Some describe it as complete hopelessness. Several people who struggle with this feel like ghosts. They see their family members interact and engage with each other, but for them, it feels like there's an invisible barrier preventing them from taking part in the bonding process. One of the most common signs is experiencing a physical emptiness in your guts. It's like you get a knot in your stomach. It isn't just your mind experiencing feelings, your body does too. And while your mind can shut off emotions, your physical body won't. This is why you have physical sensations rather than emotional feelings. Have you ever experienced any of these signs personally? Do you think you know someone who might be emotionally numb? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.